former director of the NSA and CIA, General Michael Hayden. General Hayden, again, we thank you for the generosity of your time. Oh, happy to be here, Judy. Thank you. Now, General, from what you've heard, I, I'm a bit incredulous that this kind of scam could work on uh, officials, including, according to one report, a four-star general. In, in your mind, why not a wariness on the part of our national security personnel concerning this type of scam? Well, J.D., just to correct the record, I think it actually said a four-star admiral. So. I want to, we'll get that corrected. And <laughs> since you're Air Force, you don't have a dog in the fight between the Army and the, and the Navy. Understood. Yeah. And we'll go on record, no. it's not you. Okay. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Right. Um, look, the, this appears to have been a very sophisticated, slow-moving, patient attack uh, by, by the Iranians uh, using techniques that, that are readily available if you're clever enough to use them. Look, we all have a, a massive digital exhaust out there on the World Wide Web. There's an awful lot of information about each and every one of us out there. Google yourself sometime and you'll, you'll be surprised at how much you can discover. And, and what folks like these folks do is to use that to, to create emails and other kinds of communication that seem to be coming from a trusted source. And, and then you, you click on the hyperlink or you, you answer the email or, or take some other action and then they begin to burrow uh, into your own digital persona and, as you described, learn your passwords and, and, and other things about you. So, uh, no, I'm not shocked. And if it's done in a very sophisticated way, one has to be very careful to avoid falling into that kind of trap. General, if you were to rate the sophistication of our enemies overseas or our adversaries, uh, you and I have talked before about Chinese cyber espionage and Chinese cyber attacks going on, but this move by the Iranians, uh, if you had to assess the Iranian capabilities as their technology continues, as they've made their first moves into space, as they continue to try to uh, gain access to uh, nuclear weapons, how would you rate their ability as cyber hackers and cyber spies? Right. Well, I mean, J.D., you know, the, the, the prominent foe out there, adversary of the Chinese. And the Chinese are good, but frankly, the Chinese are characterized by their mass. It, it's just the volume of effort they conduct against the United States and American firms. The Iranians have shown a bit of sophistication here lately. So you've got this phishing attack, which was designed to gain information, uh, I'm convinced it was the Iranians who were responsible for massive distributed denial of service attacks against American banks a year or so ago. Nothing overly sophisticated about the technique, but the scale was something we've never seen before. And I think the Iranians are responsible for the, for the Shamoon virus that wiped clean 30,000 hard drives in Saudi Aramco about 18 or 24 months ago in a similar attack further north in the Gulf and Qatar against Roscoe up there. So the Iranians are smart people. Let me, let, me, let me reflect on it in just one slightly different way, J.D. My analysts at CIA uh, were always of the belief that if the Iranians wanted to develop a nuclear weapon, they were fully competent and capable of developing a nuclear weapon. We could do things through sanctions and, and other means to slow them down. But they had the wherewithal, they had the talent to actually go and do this. So I'm not surprised that we're seeing this kind of sophistication. This is, this is a great civilization, a great culture, a talented people, and we're seeing evidence of it. General, only a couple of minutes remain, and I want to get your perspective again on the emerging VA health care scandal. Again, it's an issue you and I have touched on, but now there are new reports coming out that, that somehow 1,700 veterans at the Phoenix VA hospital were completely left off lists, and the calls for General Shinseki to resign as secretary of the VA keep getting louder. You have battled both a burgeoning bureaucracy and you have worn the uniform of this nation. You're no stranger to Secretary Shinseki. Is it time now for him to step down? I, I would not be one to, to call for Rick's resignation. Maybe that's based on a 
not just friendship, but a, a personal understanding of the man's work. Uh, this is a very good officer. But, I, but, but, J.D., I have to agree with you. The, the story's coming out of Phoenix now. They're confirming our worst fears, aren't they? I mean, that which was alleged is turning out to have been true. And, and now we're going to have to see what other parts of the VA system have this same kind of thing. And, I, and J.D., this is not imputing guilt, certainly responsibility. If you're the Secretary of Veterans Affairs, you're, you're responsible. But it's not guilt. But there may come a time in which the appropriate response is, 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 is not to get rid of General Shinseki, but, but to simply realize that we've got to start, a fr- start afresh, that we, we need a new individual to head up the VA. And, of course, that would mean the general would have to leave. But it's, it's less than dismissing him as the problem and more the need to begin with a fresh start. General Michael Hayden, as always, we appreciate your insights, uh, both from your service in the intelligence community and your service in uniform, uh, and we appreciate very much the generous uh, gift of your time. Thank you so much. Always a pleasure. Thanks, Judy. Thank you, sir. So you've heard General Michael Hayden. He says it may be time for a complete reform rather than a sacking of Shinseki. What do you think? Tweet us your comments at Newsmax TV, hashtag America's Forum. You can also email us, connectednewsmaxtv.com, and there is Facebook as well. There is more straight ahead here on America's Forum.